Dryer Master, computerized grain drying control. In this section, we will talk about why you need to calibrate, how to take a representative sample, and how often you need to calibrate. Why? While it may sound straightforward to have the online moisture sensor read the same as your benchtop unit, there are a few wrinkles that make it a little more complex. Let's look at an example where an operator goes to the dryer and takes two moisture samples 20 seconds apart and puts them into two separate containers. If you take the first manual sample and put it in your benchtop sensor, you will get a moisture reading. Now if you put the same sample back into the tester again, you might get a slightly different reading. This is called equipment error, and it occurs because most manual testers have a plus or minus 0.2% error range. The Dryer Master moisture sensors have a similar error of plus or minus 0.2%, so it is possible for the two sensors to read as much as 0.4% difference and still both be accurate. If you now take the second moisture sample and put it into the benchtop tester, you will most likely get another reading. This time the difference is because all the grain coming out of the dryer is not exactly the same moisture. For example, there are usually variations between different columns in the dryer. This is called sampling error. This is also evident when taking samples from inbound trucks and it is the reason that you probe and sample from different parts of the truck. The idea is to average out the differences to get an accurate overall average. How? While equipment error cannot be eliminated, we can do a lot to reduce sampling error. That is why the Dryer Master system comes with a sampling button for the outlet sensor. The concept is to have the operator and the Dryer Master take a similar sample over a period of about 30 seconds. This more representative sample provides a more accurate result. We recommend the following procedure for calibrating the outlet sensor. A. Go to the dryer and make sure grain is flowing past the sensor. B. Press the sample button next to the outlet sensor. The light will flash. C. While the light is flashing, approximately 30 seconds, take several small samples and put them into a container. Do not take just one sample. D. Mix up the sample. E. Test in the manual tester. For best results, take at least three tests from the sample and average them. F. Press the Calibrate button on the Dryer Master panel. G. Select the moisture sensor the sample is for. A sample waiting message will show in the line for the sensor to calibrate. H. Once selected, the moisture calculation will display. I. Enter your moisture value and press Enter. The Dryer Master will automatically update its moisture calculation formula. Note, by default, the maximum calibration change the Dryer Master will make is 1.5%. This is to prevent erroneous key entries or occasional bad samples from disrupting the operation. In practice, errors should be less than 1% on average. There may be instances where the readings are significantly in error and more drastic steps need to be taken. Significant changes in product quality or startups are the most likely causes. How often? Continue your sampling at the frequency you are accustomed to. Too many samples will never be an issue. Calibration is a scientific procedure, so all samples should be taken with care and the method should be identical by all members. Look at this as a record-keeping method. Things to avoid. 1. Taking quick grab samples and entering them. 2. Taking a sample and letting it sit around before processing. 3. Product temperature significantly different than the manual tester's temperature will lead to errors. 4. Taking samples outside of the manual tester's operating temperature range. The Dryer Master sensor is quite happy measuring moisture below freezing. Your manual tester is not.